tell you about. Many of you know WLTX is owned by our parent company, Tegna. And every year we have the awesome opportunity to give back to organizations in our community that are doing the most good. One of the recipients of the Tegna Award this year is Communities and Schools of South Carolina. It's an organization that provides social and emotional support along with behavioral monitoring for students. News 19's Walker Lawson has more. Tasha Tace, Regional Director for Communities and Schools of South Carolina, says the $5,000 Tegna Foundation grant will be used to help fund new programs at Fairfield Middle School. Vision to students um, on three tiers, academics, behavior, and core coursework. So going into Fairfield County, we'll be able to put a site coordinator there, which we currently do have, and we'll be able to fully fund that program um, and meet the needs of those students that are in that community. Principal Jamie Brunson adds this money will be vital to help students' mental and emotional health as they transition back into the classroom during the pandemic. Seeing our students coming back into the school in, in full force, you notice that they, they are a little different. Um, they've been home some for 20 months. Brunson reassures parents. You know, checking on them, uh, making sure that they are well, their well-being is okay. First, letting them know that you care about them and then giving them some, some type of structured support. I think that's going to benefit our students tremendously. Something Tay says is needed at all schools, but especially a rural one like Fairfield Middle. We have amazing leadership there um, to allow us to come into that community and provide those integral supports. Um, it's allowing students to reach their academic goals and also they can go into the classrooms now that we're trying to get over this next loop, um, feeling confidently about what they look like in their future academic success. In Columbia, I'm Walker Lawson, News 19 WLTX. Transitions Homeless Center will use its Tegna Foundation grant to support an ongoing jobs program. Sister Care plans to use the money to fund its crisis intervention group, counseling services for domestic violence victims and their children. So those are the three award recipients this year. To see their stories, just go to our website, WLTX.com. And if you have a nonprofit you think would be great for the Tegna Foundation, make sure you look for an application on our website.